Today we're going to be graphing the uh, uh, function of an exponential uh, function and to uh, give you the behavior of some exponential function let's say we have y equals a to the x the graph of y equals a to the x will always have a y-intercept at 0, 1 and it's an increasing graph now the only way that this graph will be uh, um, reversed is when you have y equals a to the negative x so when you have a negative exponent or negative value of x your y-intercept will still be 0 and 1 and it will be decreasing because of your negative exponent where the asymptote is still at um, 0 or y equals 0 now another uh, form of this particular behavior is when your function is 1 over a to the x so this is another way of representing the graph of a function that is decreasing so this is still going to be the same as the graph of y equals a to the negative x now in some cases you will encounter a function wherein you have a constant or a factor of your function let's say we have a number of a to the x in this particular case, this particular number right here would determine your y-intercept. So instead of your y-intercept at 0, 1, it will be at the value of n. So let's say this is 0 and 1. Your n, let's say, is a positive number greater than uh, um, 1. It will be somewhere here on top, and this will be your 0 n and your graph will still be an increasing graph because you have a positive exponent. So these are some of the translations that we're going to be using when we graph the following exponential function. So we'll start with problem number one. And on problem number one, our function has a um, factor or a constant that's multiplied to 5 to the x. So 1 half would be our y-intercept, so it will be at 0 and 1 half. So the y-intercept would be somewhere here in the middle, uh, in between 0 and 1. And this one would be an increasing graph because our exponent of x is positive and we have a whole number for a, val for a number greater than 1 for the value of our a. So this one is the graph of our exponential function and for the second problem you'll notice that we have one-third in our um, exponential function which means our y-intercept would be at zero and one-third and the behavior of our exponential function will still be increasing because a is greater than one so we'll have here a point of intersection on the y-axis somewhere here between 0 and 1 and it will also be a increasing graph so it's pretty much this be, um, the same or similar to problem number one because their values are not that far now for problem number two we'll have a different graph because our constant is at 5 so that means our y-intercept will be at 0 and 5. So if this is our function, this is our x-axis at 0, this is 2, this is 4, and this is going to be our y-intercept. And notice that our a is now less than 1, which is 1 half, which means the behavior of our function will be a reflection of this graph right here or a similar graph right here from the y-axis. So this time our graph will be decreasing from left going to the right so this is now the graph of 5 times 1 half raised to the x power so this is the difference between an a that is greater than 1 and a that is less than um, 1 but not equal to 0 so for our next graphs right here at the bottom we're going to be graphing some function and here you will notice that our y-intercept will be at 5 and our a value is less than 1 so our y-intercept would be at 5 0 5 and the graph would be decreasing because a is less than 1 
So this will be the graph of problem number 4 which is slightly similar to the graph of problem number 5. Now for, I mean problem number 3. Now for problem number 5, we are seeing a constant of negative 2 and this will affect the um, y-intercept of our function. So we know that the y-intercept should be at 4. So this is 4. But since you have negative 2 as a constant, that means that you're going to go down 2 units. 1, 2. And this will now be your new y-intercept at 0, 2. So in this case, the, um, our graph will be an increasing graph because our value of a is more than 1. So it's going to be an increasing graph. And our asymptote will also go down because 1, 2 of this particular constant. So now our graph will be an increasing graph somewhere here, starting here with an asymptote, and then it will cross at 0, 2. I'm sorry, it's supposed to here, cross here. And the horizontal asymptote will be somewhere here at um, negative 2 because of this constant of negative 2. Now for problem number 3, we have a y-intercept supposedly at 3, so we have 2, 3, but since we have a positive 2 as a constant right here that's being added to the function, that means our new y-intercept would be 1, 2 plus 2 units going up, which gives us 0, 5. And our y-intercept, I mean y-intercept is 0, 5, but this time the horizontal asymptote, which is supposed to be at 0, 0, is now going to be 1, 2, 2 units up. And the behavior of the graph of our function will be decreasing because our a is less than 1. So the function would be graph like so. And this is how we graph exponential functions and its translations based on the value of a, the value of the constant, and uh, this value over here that we need to consider when we are graphing an exponential function.